they catch in the ground when the snake's pushing to the side or when it's being slid backwards. And they have a preferential direction of sliding forwards. This fundamental design of the snake scale is shared by other things in our daily lives, like wheels and... Another example is ice skates. They can go easily forward, but as you know, when you're ice skating, you can push sideways and they'll catch. So we found the snake scales are a lot like these wheels and ice skates in that they slide much easier in one direction than in another. And it's easy to test. Just take away their scales. Who and his team designed a special jacket for that purpose, which keeps the snake scales from gripping the ground. If you put this jacket on the snake, there's high friction with the ground, but the friction's equal in all directions so the snake can't move. So the directionality of scales is key. But when the researchers put that into a mathematical model, it couldn't fully explain how fast snakes slither. But they'd also noticed something else. We observe these snakes from the side. You can see that they actually are not pressed flat against the ground, but in fact they actually lift parts of their bodies above the ground. And sure enough, when they added this to their model, it was right on. So it's the combination of friction and weight redistribution, who says, that create a snake slither, which makes them not so different from their legged friends after all. They share some similarities with the way we walk and run, in that we have to change their weight distribution from the left to the right foot as we move. Similarly, snakes are constantly changing their weight distribution as they're moving. 